So I went to a conference to find out what is a thunderstorm generator. Here's what I learned. A thunderstorm generator is a new but an ancient device that is able to retrofit to our current technology. It functions by implosive forces instead of explosive forces. A thunderstorm generator must be tuned to the engine, tuned like you would a musical instrument using ancient geometry and sacred math. By tapping into the forces of the universe, we can access energy all around us. This should clean up waste energy by following the order within creation. Now that I have very briefly explained the theory behind the device, let's look at the components that make up a thunderstorm generator. There are three main components that are required for best results. First, we need a pre-ionization chamber, a chamber filled with light from a bulb that a lizard enjoys. This can be a capped tube with holes drilled in the top and the bottom. You will need inlet holes also drilled into the top. The bottom hole is typically used for a copper pipe to feed to the next part. That part is referred to as the plasmoid generator, a sealed tube containing pure water, an aquarium stone, and stainless steel wool. This is for shearing the plasmoids, making them smaller and collapse. Another copper pipe will connect the plasmoid generator to the final part, the catalytic tornado resonator. This is where the magic happens. This final part is a sphere within a sphere within a sphere. There are two sides to this final part. Think hot and cold, plus and minus, clockwise and counterclockwise. The resonator is where the vortex is formed. Vortexes are known to make adjustments to time, space, energy, and matter. The hot side of the resonator should connect to the engine's exhaust. And the copper pipe can connect to the plasmoid generator to the cold side of the resonator. For best results, the system needs to be a sealed vacuum from intake to exhaust. Think of your engine as an air piston. This retrofit aims to clean up the energy wasted by explosive technology. Feel free to comment below if you want to fill in any of the gaps I left out in my description of how the system works. Thank you for watching.